In the last lecture, we completed binary to gray code conversion. In this lecture, we will learn gray code to binary conversion. There are three steps involved in the conversion and I will try to explain these three steps by the help of one example. So let's move to example number one. Example number one. In this example, the gray code is one, 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 zero. This is the gray code and we want to convert this gray code to binary. So let's see what's there in step number one. In step number one, we have to record the MSB as it is. In the last presentation also, I told you when we convert binary to gray code or gray code to binary, MSB remains as it is. MSB stands for most significant bit and it remains as it is. MSB remains the same. So in this case also, we are going to record the MSB as it is. This is the MSB most significant bit and we have to record it as it is. MSB is 1 for gray code. This is gray code and thus we have 1 as the MSB for binary number. Let's move to step number 2. In step number 2 we have to add MSB to the next bit of gray code and record the sum and neglect the carry. This is the most important step and again we have two ways to do this. In first way we have to perform the addition. We will record the sum and neglect the carry. And the second way is to perform the XOR operation. In example number one we will perform the addition and in example number two we will perform the XOR operation. So in this example we will perform the addition and we will add the MSB and the next bit of gray code. This is the MSB and this one here is the next bit of gray code. So we will add them. 1 plus 1 will give us 0. 0 is the sum and 1 is the carry. And in step number 3 we have to repeat the process. So we are going to add this 0 with this 1. 0 plus 1 will give us 1. As we have to repeat the process we will add this 1 and this 0. And this will give us 1 as the sum and 0 as the carry. So the binary number, the binary number is 1011. This is the obtained binary number and our answer. So this is how we have to convert gray code to binary. Now we will move to example number 2. And in this example, we will perform the XOR operation. Example number 2. The gray code in this example is 1, 0, 0, 1. This is the gray code. This is the gray code. And we will convert this gray code to binary. So let's do it. We have to record the MSB as it is. So we will have 1. Then we will perform the XOR operation between the MSB and the next bit. MSB is 1 and next bit is 0. 1 XOR 0 will give us 1 because XOR is odd ones detector. Now we will repeat the process. 1 XOR 0 will give us 1. 1 XOR 1 will give us 0 because we have even number of 1's. So in example number 2 the binary number is 1110. This is the binary number and our answer. Now I will try to generalize this conversion. For this let's say this bit here is G3 then we have G2 G1 G0 these are the four bits for gray code and for binary we will have B3 B2 B1 and B0 we will try to find out values for B3 B2 B1 and B0 so let's do it B3 is equal to G3 because MSB is recorded as it is B2 B2 is equal to B3 XOR G2. So B2 is equal to B3 XOR G2. And B1 B1 is equal to B2 XOR G1. B2 XOR G1. And B0 B0 is equal to B1 XOR G0 b1 xor g0 so this is how we can generalize this conversion now we will move to homework problems i have three homework problems 
for this lecture in first homework problem the gray code is 1100 in second homework problem the gray code is 1011 and in third homework problem the gray code is 1000 so these are the three gray codes we have and you need to convert them to binary convert to binary so this is all for this lecture once you have your answers post it in comment section